So to begin making your head, we'll use one pipe cleaner. We'll begin by folding the pipe cleaner in half so that both sides are even. And you'll want to make sure that you pinch the end so that it's very tight. Then near the end that's folded, we're going to be folding part of the pipe cleaner back in the opposite direction. And you want to leave about one centimeter of pipe cleaner that's not folded. After you get this done, you're going to be twisting that section together and this will begin to form the part that's going to be the mandibles on the ant. And so you'll just do some shaping. You can reshape this at any time. So right now it's just to give it a space. Now we're going to make the frame for the head. So we're going to continue to make a loop and twist the ends of the pipe cleaner together. Notice you've got some parts of the pipe cleaner hanging off. That's so that when you get ready to attach the rest of your body to the ant head, it'll be an easier process. So then we want to start adding some dimension so that we have the actual shape of the head. We're gonna take a pipe cleaner and start twisting around as you twist, you want to make sure that you leave some space so that it looks three-dimensional and it's not just a flat figure. And as you're moving around, you'll notice you'll come to the end of your pipe cleaner. And in order to make this secure for later, you're going to want to go ahead and just twist it one extra time around the frame of the head. You'll notice that there is about a centimeter of pipe cleaner that sticks out from your frame. That will be so it's easier to add the next pipe cleaner that you're gonna be using to continue wrapping your ant's head. So as you start twisting and you get the pipe cleaner secure in place, then you're just gonna keep adding to what you've already done and just continuing to build on the head of the ant. And this will take a little bit of time and you'll have to add a few other pipe cleaners along the way, but just keep working until you get the entire head covered. Your ant will also need some eyes. So you'll take one pipe cleaner, you'll fold it in half, and we're gonna use this one pipe cleaner, just cut it apart, and we'll be able to start the eyes. Now, some of your eyes will be different sizes, but you can just start curling the pipe cleaner or the chenille stick so that you get the shape that you want once you get something that you like, then you're gonna repeat the process with the second. And so this will give you a start for your eyes. The long piece of chenille stick can be used to secure it to your ant's head. If you have too much, you can always cut it off. So we're going to make the antennae. So we'll fold one pipe cleaner in half. We'll use our scissors to cut them apart. And we're basically going to be creating just an L shape. So when you make sure you've got them the right size, you're going to bend one and then bend the second one so that it matches. And one end of the antennae will be a little longer. That's so that you can attach it to your ant. So now we're going to use one pipe cleaner to form the mesosoma and so you'll fold it in half and begin to twist it 
to start your frame. You will have some pieces at the end to attach it to the body later. And then continue pinching and twisting so that you can make each of the separate sections of the mesosoma or thorax area. Uh, keeping in mind, we can do some reshaping later. And also keeping in mind if you are making an ant that has just one petiole or possibly a post petiole as well. And so once you get that section together, then you will begin to wrap it. So with one pipe cleaner, we can make one leg. If you'll fold it, not quite in half, so that you have a small section that sticks out, um, but fold it rather tight. And then we are going to twist the pipe cleaner onto itself so that it stays attached. We want to make sure that we have a thicker section for the top part of the leg that's going to attach to the body, whereas the um, end of the leg is much thinner for the ant. And if you bend the small piece, then it can be attached to your ant body. So to make the gaster, one pipe cleaner um, will be used for the frame. You'll fold it in half and we're creating the shape that we want for the gaster. So once we find that shape, we'll twist the pipe cleaner together. And then notice that you'll have the shape of the gaster and you'll have some ends that will be able to be attached to the rest of the body later. So we wanna look at the end near the area where there may be a stinger. And that's where we're going to go ahead and attach by twisting a pipe cleaner then you can start wrapping and it gets a little tricky here you may have to bend it a little bit you might need to put your finger in the center to be able to hold its shape but you'll start wrapping um, the form that you've created so that you can start giving your ants gaster that three-dimensional shape um, sometimes you may have to loop it through in order to make sure that what you are doing will be secure to your ant body. And it just takes a little bit of time and patience. If you notice, we can use the paper that you wrap in tape to make um, that three-dimensional form. And you can hold it in place as you start wrapping. But that is not going to stay inside your ant body. That's just to be used for a little while so that you can continue to wrap and make sure that you leave enough space to show the dimension. Um, noticing that we left just a tiny bit so that we can add another chenille stick and we can twist to make sure that everything holds into place because we want this to be secure. And then you can continue again with wrapping your form to make the gaster. And it will take some reshaping as you go. Once again, you may want to loop it through to kind of hold it secure. Um, there's not really one way it's just paying attention to what your form looks like and what you want your end result to be. And then keeping in mind that you have the end section that you can use it to attach to the rest of the body when you are done. <laughs>